Hi, I'm John Pico with Second Chance CPR and PPE Online. Today I'd like to talk to you about the N95 mask that we currently have in stock, the DTC3Z from Dashing. The N95 mask, um, obviously material-wise, it makes it a little bit better of a mask. And then the big thing would be is the filtering out of 95% of the particles. Um, in order to do that, you should be fit tested to an N95 mask. So there's two different types. There's qualitative and quantitative. Um, we've done a lot of quantitative um, fit testing and we, we own two port account machines. So we've been doing quantitative fit testing, which is the most precise and accurate, accurate way to you know, test an N95 mask. Quantitative fit testing is done with a port account machine where you have two tubes. One goes into the mask, one stays outside of the mask. Um, with quantitative fit testing, it, it measures the leakage or the particles going in and out of the mask. So it gives you a precise fit on the mask. So there is little room for air there because if you have any leakage around the nose, jaw lines, or anything else, it won't, it won't let you pass and you won't get a fit factor. The Dashing DTC3Z mask is passing. Um, we're passing roughly 97, 97, 97.5% of people on this mask. Um, the thing that I find unique about this mask is that it is fitting people that were fitted previously to a 3M9210, a 3M1870. Also people that were fitted on an 1860 or an 8110 are also passing on this mask. So we're getting a very high success rate um, and people that wore different style masks with you know, other companies are now passing on this dashing DTC3Z. The seven step process, normal breathing, uh, just slightly deeper breathing, uh, moving your head slowly side to side, which it would expose any um, side gaps, uh, nodding your head up and down. So as spoken before, either at the nose or in the chin, from there we go to bending over Again, it kind of exposes if there's a huge chin gap. And then the last one is just back to normal breathing, which is always interesting to see their first normal breathing. And then the very last one as the mask A either molds more or better to their face or has it loosened up. So we've been testing it now for roughly two months. We've probably tested around 11 to 1200 um, different, different workers, essential workers from RNs, RPNs to people at community livings, assisted livings, long-term care homes dentists, doctor's offices. So out of the 11 or 1200, we're passing roughly 97.5%, which is um, a pretty high number right now. We're also working with you know local health units in different areas. Um, Public Health Ontario has bought some masks and tested these. So you know the wide variety of people that we've been testing on right now, we're, we're passing 97, 98% of people on this mask. We've gotten great feedback from hospitals and LTC homes and community livings and different people we're dealing with. That mask right now, um, our feedback is that it's very comfortable. And then the test results from the port account machine, I mean, that says it all. I mean, it's passing 97, 98% of people, which is, you know, is great right now. I think um, overall, I mean, this N95, it could be used for, for a lot of things. I mean, if you want to wear an N95 going out, I mean, some people that have pre-existing health issues or some medical issues want to wear an N95. I think this is a perfect mask for them. It's light, it's comfortable, it's easy to wear, and it's a good mask. Um, on the other side of that, from industrial to corporate levels to medical, um, this mask fits the bill. I mean, right now, like I said, it's passing a lot of people, so overall this mask you know, can provide a, you know, different levels of protection all the way across the board. So currently right now, um, we are securing the mask on a, on a monthly, almost two to three week basis, monthly basis, we're bringing mask in. Um, you know, we're providing our clients that have been fit tested or that are looking for fit testing with these masks. We also, you know, the supply has been very good. We have very good partners with this. So us bringing in these masks, um, you know, we're one of the few companies, you know, that can get our hands on these masks and we've developed some great relationships with people that are importing these masks and dealing with these masks. So I'm pretty confident in our supply chain for the dashing mask.